بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویلکم ٹو ٹوڈے سیشن آئی ایم حسین قاضی دا فیسیلیٹیٹر فار دا سبجیکٹ ایف ایم اے ایف ایم این ایس بی آر سو ٹوڈے دا سیشن از اباؤٹ ایس بی آر اورینٹیشن فار جون ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی تھری ایگزامس ناؤ دا ٹائم ایز اسٹارٹڈ The time has started for the SBR preparation. Huh? This is now the right time <coughs> to start your preparation for the SBR June 23 exams. But the important point is that for any project, for any subject preparation, the very important thing at this moment to develop the right strategy, to develop the right direction. Because if you are right direction, it's not, if you are not able to develop the right direction, That means you have chosen the wrong path for the exam preparation and this will be and that will become a very difficult phase for you to get a successful attempt. So this is the right time to develop the right approach for SBR preparation, for SBR direction. So number one, very important thing. is that before starting this particular session before starting this particular session you people must have to aware that a detailed video what inside the sbr is available on my youtube channel with this particular link so all of you must have to watch that particular video what inside the sbr so very important after the session you must have to watch that particular video this is a very detailed inside what exactly the examiner expectation about the sbr and how to develop the right approach for the sbr preparation sir what about the today's session what we will do for the today's session yes for today's orientation orientation session these are the agenda these points are the agenda number 1 with this particular session first of all we will make a brief overview about the syllabus areas with their weightage with respect to exam number 1 number 2 we will discuss at this point of time we are almost 11 or 11 11 and a half weeks for the exam preparation what's the right approach we need to develop for sbr preparation what's the right approach <clears throat> number 3 how to utilize your time duration for exam preparation number 3 number 4 manage your schedule how you have to manage your schedule for the exam preparation even if you are a full time student or the student with uh, engaged in the working environment how to develop how to manage your schedule and at last the session will, will conclude the session will conclude with an with a with an example of spr <clears throat> i will attempt a particular question a basic intermediate level question for sbr so based on this question you will be able to know that what is the right direction for the preparation so these are the five points about the agenda of the today's session do remember that you you have to subscribe my youtube channel where you can find that particular video where you will be able to get detail inside about the sbr okay come on first of all candidates what what contents of the syllabus of sbr are of sbr including the exam weightage including the exam weightage including the exam weightage look at this look at this 
Number one, there are five areas of the syllabus. For total five components, five areas of the syllabus with their with the respective weightage. These weightage are not mentioned by the ACC exam team, but this is what the analysis I have made with the past exam conducted by ACC. Number one, five areas of the syllabus. Whenever you start preparation, whenever you are doing or engage with the preparation, you have to develop the mindset that I have to complete five areas of the syllabus areas. Number one, IFRS. The number one IFRS, accounting standard. Number one, accounting standard. Number two, conceptual framework. Number three, ethical implications. Number four, current developments. Number five, performance measurement. These are the five areas of the syllabus. Now number two, based on past exams, it's been observed that examiner almost examined every on average 60 60 percent of the paper related to pure ifrs knowledge ias and ifrs knowledge number two almost 10 8 to 10 percent examiner examine the conceptual framework issues 7% for sure related to ethics. 8% related to current development. And almost 12 to 15% related to performance measurement. So number one, for example, today, for example, from now, now is 18 March, 18 March till 8th of june 23 that's your exam date for example you have decided to spare 100 hours of your studies so very important you have to develop the schedule you have to develop your mind that i have to split my 100 hours with this weightage i have to spend 60 to 65 percent time on IFRS preparation and practice, 10 percent to the conceptual framework, 7 percent for ethical ethical implication, 8 percent for current development, and 12 to 15 percent for performance measurement. What normally mistakes student do? Student during the journey of SBR preparation only or majority focus 90 to 92 or 95 percent of the time for the ifrs but here what about the remaining four components what are the remaining four components do remember that this strategic business reporting exam it's not only about advanced financial reporting Yes, major syllabus area is about financial reporting, advanced financial reporting. You studied financial reporting, intermediate level and F7. Here, advanced, advanced financial reporting. But the syllabus is not only advanced financial reporting plus four more components. So you have to invest your time for four more components. That is conceptual framework, ethics, current developments in performance measurement. Candidates, can you please apply me? Are you hearing my voice clear? And have you got my point? The first, the very important thing to develop the right direction of the SBR profession. Can you please reply me? So this is the first thing you have to do. Five syllabus areas with your weightage. So you have to note this thing. What I personally suggest, 
with your notebook or with your um, folder of the exam preparation you have to uh, take a screenshot of this slide and paste somewhere that's that is the content I have to cover with the respective weightage. The first thing. Number two, SBR study approach. First, we discussed the syllabus and the weightage. Now the approach. Let's take a basic example. For example, a case study about British Airways. A case study about British Airways. An examiner asks you as an accountant, as an accountant, about a transaction. About a transaction. For example, British Airways has made a transaction of renovation of all interior of about uh, renovation of all interior of their aircrafts. Hundred aircrafts they have renovated. This transaction has has actually made with this year and you have to report it the very important thing is that whenever students start the sbr studies so student having a mindset that my role is just to make financial statement extract for british airways transaction i have to make just examiner just expecting to make financial statement extract but not at all examiner expecting like this picture like this picture that you are a candidate and here with this aspect with this picture showing that you are demonstrating your ability in front of the user of the financial statement demonstrating your ability demonstrating your knowledge explaining your knowledge so here in f7 examiner only expect making of the financial statement extract here examiner expecting that you must have to demonstrate your explanations in front of the relevant user of the financial statement that is what that is what you have to develop your exam strategy sbr preparation strategy with this exam team with this with this exam team statements examiner this is the statement by examiner examiner here expecting that student must show their ability to explain their working F7 to show they are working. SBR explain they are working. At the end of the session, I will demonstrate what the difference between just making extract and explanation of the extracts. The ability to explain your working is an essential skill that is required in workplace, and it is the reason that the examining team has taken this approach. First thing, syllabus area. Number two, developing your mindset and making your preparation with these examiner statements. Number one. Number two, as I have already mentioned you, this is not the exam of only AFR. Means only, it's not only accounting standards. AFR plus four things, plus four things. That's called SBR. Candidates must mindset about SBR, not only financial reporting. These are examiner statement. These are not mind statement. These are not only mind statement. And the number three, a very important point from the examiner. With F7, with F3, or, <clears throat> or in fact, whenever you study the accounting, accounting, accounting standard, you just focused that our role, 
our role as a maker of the financial statement as a maker of the financial statement our role is maker of the financial statement but there is a question to you reply me why we make financial statement why we make financial statement can you please reply me Candidates, I need a single minute silent because the voice of prayers is coming inside. You just give me uh, your reply through the text. Why we make financial statement? Hafiz Umar, can you please delete this annotation? I really appreciate it. Hafiz Umar, can you please delete this annotation? That's by mistake you have done it at the bottom line of the screen. Thank you. Okay, my question is that why we make financial statement? One of the very important replies is that for the sake of the user of the financial statement, for the sake of the user of the financial statement, a very important point with respect to SBR, examiner expecting that our role, also expecting that with some questions, our role not just as a maker of the financial statement but also as a user of the financial statement as a user of the financial statement and that is what the part of slavers called performance measurement performance measurement a very basic example not in detail is 40 investment property there are two models available cost model number one number two fair value model as an accountant it's very norm we do cost model like i16 fair value model fair value adjustment no depreciation fair value to the profit and loss account this is what i'm i'm saying as an accountant but if i say that we as a company having investment property and making the discussion or involving in a discussion if we apply cost model with our investment property what will be the impact to the user of the financial statement and what if we do or we make financial statement with fair value model what will be the impact on the user of the financial statement decision because cost model with cost model the accounts are very consistent regular constant depreciation regular constant carrying value reduces 
at the fair value but the fair value model that's updated balance sheet values okay but the valuation are in variation sometime value up sometime value down variation so that is the point cost model fair value model so we also need to think with some question about the accounting applications with respect to the user of the financial statement as well and that is what examiner has mentioned with this statement in this exam the examiner requires experience expertise from candidates not only from the viewpoint of preparer preparer means accountant but also from the perspective of investor perspective investor perspective so till now we have covered two things number one syllabus areas with the relevant coverage weightage number two examiner expectation examiner expectation number one the exam is not only fr but more than fr that is number one fr all is ifrs plus four more components number two examiner expecting to develop ability explaining the answer number two number three some of the areas here we need to consider not only the maker of the financial statement but also the user of the financial statement the investor perspective so if we are going to enter with the SBR preparation we have to develop this mindset accordingly now the second point of this particular orientation to develop the mindset a quick briefing about the syllabus areas but till now we have done this part of the video wait for the next part of the video Thank you very much.